What's up fam, Pick and Curly here, and I'm coming to you to show you guys how I dry shampoo, dry wash my braids. I do this with all of my braids that I don't want my natural curly hair to get wet and curl up, if that makes sense. So, yarn braids, box braids, Senegalese twists, especially Senegalese twists are, are nice, long, and smooth. You don't want to wet that and then your curls pop from the water and this will be long and straight. So this is what I use. The um, Organic Root Simulator Herbal Cleanse dry, sh dry Shampoo. I have used this for a while. I really like it. And I just want to show you guys how I use it. Again, I use this for styles where I don't want my um, curly hair to get wet. I try to keep my curly hair dry because you know when that water hits it, y'all, it will do its own thing. I'm going to start in the front so I can show you guys really well. <clears throat> Start just with the section. So I section my hair off. I'm going to show you guys why I do that in just a minute. I start with it on my scalp. I put it all over my scalp. In that section. And rub it in. And then I like to put it in my hand and bring it through my hair. So all I'm doing is massaging my scalp and bringing it through my hair. You can, if you can see my face frowning up, it's because it's, it's a strong product. It is definitely cleansing. Oof. Can you find the ingredients to read to you guys? Because I want that to sit in there for a little while, I'm going to start on my next section. Just because you have braids in your hair does not mean you walk around with dirty hair. You want to keep your hair clean. Rubbing it all in, putting it on my hand, bringing it through. Starting off with my scalp so that I can rub it in there, it can get down in there. Get however much you need. You know how dirty your hair is. <laughs> And I'm actually about to turn my sink on, so I'm probably going to cut or fast for you guys for a minute. Alright guys, so I'm back and I have put that all over my hair. So now I am just rubbing and massaging my scalp, making sure that it's being stimulated. Again, excuse my face, this stuff is strong. Making sure that it's stimulated. And look right up here, I even have a little bit of build up. I put some like directly on that braid. But anyway, when I said I was going to start running my water, what I was doing was running the hottest water I could get out of my sink onto a damp cloth. 
this is where you kind of do what you want to do. You can heat your towel if you would like. You can just do hot water like I'm doing if you would like. Or you can leave this stuff on for like 10 minutes with a plastic cap and then wash it off. Whatever you want to do. But I just did it all the way through and now I'm going back. You get a hot towel and you start. And I normally would start in the front. Let me start there because that's where I started. You're wiping your scalp. And then wiping your braids down. Wiping your scalp. Wiping your braids down. That's all you're doing. Make sure your cloth is hot, but make sure you also wring it out. Because again, you don't want it too wet. You don't want to saturate your hair with water. I have used this for years and I love it. My hair gets clean without water. You can feel that your hair is clean. Like I've been saying for the whole video, you can smell that your hair is clean. And you are done, people. It is that easy. It is that quick. It is that simple. Because we are natural leases and we know what our hair needs the most of, we moisturize. I go right back and on my scalp first. I add my oil mixture, whatever oil mixture you want. This is coconut, EVOO, and peppermint. I go and massage my scalp again. So the reason I bought this stuff today and cleaned my hair was because my um, the middle of my hair had been itching. And I've been adding oil to it and I was like, you know what, it's probably dirty, that's why it's itching. So my hair was itching. I've washed it with that and now I'm putting my oil and literally the itching has stopped. It's been itching for like two days now. So it was just dirty. I'm putting the oil on my hair now. So like I said, <laughs> your hair still needs to be clean even when it's in braids. Putting the oil in my hair. First on my scalp. Did I just smack myself? <laughs> now the actual braids. Voila, you are done. Your hair is nice, fresh, clean, and it's still not wet. Peace and blessings, thick and curly.